From humble beginnings to all Americans and then the pinnacle of Division III college football, Bridgewater has seen it all. Tough times to high times, Coach Clark's been there. In 1994, the Bridgewater football program was in disrepair and the college was under new leadership. The Eagles had lost 14 games in a row in 18 of their last 20 contests. The Eagles not only had not won a conference championship in 15 years, they hadn't even been close. As a matter of fact, the Eagles hadn't had a winning season in 15 years. In steps Mike Clark. In 1995, well it was a bit more of the same. A winless season ran the Eagles losing streak to 24 games, entering the 1996 season, but that was all about the change. Back-to-back -back wins opened the 96 season and things were looking up after a 5-5 five five campaign, but things quickly hit rock bottom again. A 2-8 season in 97 was followed by a winless 1998 season. But luck was about to shift in Bridgewater's favor. Clark brought in a freshman class of 1998 that would quickly make the Eagles contenders. It was just a matter of time. As I sit here in front of a timeline that really traces the history of Bridgewater College athletics and football in particular, you know, I'm reminded in a new building that uh, we've been able to change a culture uh, and change it from one of participation to one of expectation and winning knowing full well that the next win is going to be the one we're chasing and despite our past success it's a business where we have to look forward i'm blessed that i have administrative support and really the people in this community are constantly trying to id what's the next step where do we got to get better where else can we improve and that's where our recruiting process is always directed and where we anticipate you being a part of the 1999 season saw Bridgewater finish 5-5 five and five, and that was just the beginning. The playoffs in 2000 and then the ultimate run in 2001 as the Eagles made an appearance in the Stag Bowl game against Mount Union. But they weren't done. Four years later, the Eagles had capped off one of the greatest runs in ODAC history as Bridgewater won its unprecedented fifth straight conference championship. Since 2000, the Eagles have ripped off a 36-game conference winning streak made 16 NCAA playoff appearances. Over the last 21 years, we really are proud of the traditions that we've developed and the success we've had here in my time at Bridgewater. Um, you know, that being said, it, it's a business where you're always moving forward. You're always looking forward to the next challenge. You know, in November, when those 28 seniors stepped out on that field that we acknowledged before our big final win against Catholic on senior day, you know, I'm made aware that obviously we have a program that people want to stay and be a part of. They want to contribute to, but I also saw a challenge for our coaches moving forward. We have to replace people that have made significant contribution. As I go out and try to sell the program, one of the things I can always say with great confidence and clarity is in a small college situation, look for places that have assigned value to what we're doing. And I do think this, I think Bridgewater football is important to the right people. Uh, they're aware of what it's meant to this college in the past and certainly we're, we're ready to chase the challenges and the opportunity that it gives the school and our program in the future. Go Eagles!